Jamaica's Roisin McDonald just changed everything in the men's 400 meters. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. You drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, are you ready? Yeah. Good to go. Well, Jamaica's Rasheen McDonald just changed the face of the men's 400 meters globally for the 2023 season. And I guess you're asking, how did he do that? Well, young Rasheen McDonald just ran the third fastest time in the men's 400 meters for the 2023 season, making him, obviously, the third fastest man in the world over the 400 meters thus far. For 2023 with a time of 44.03 Rasheen McDonald is now third behind Zambia's Muzala Samukonga and who is second behind Stephen Gardner of the Bahamas further improving Jamaica's stand in the men's 400 meters with our very own Sean Bailey in at number 11 with a time of 44.43 and Antonio Watson also of Jamaica as the 15th fastest time so far for the 2023 season a time of 44.54 seconds now with the likes of the great Stephen Gardner who is an immense talent the Zambian Muzala Samukonga, Wade Van Niekerk of South Africa, of course, Jamaica's very own Sean Bailey, who we mentioned earlier, and Jamaica's Antonio Watson, not to forget the likes of Vernon Norwood and others. It's a really, really good look to have a Jamaican who, well, seems to be getting back to his very best in at the number three position. People just what three and a half weeks out from the world championship finals this is a huge opportunity for jamaica to do something we have not done in numerous years decades almost is to be have someone on the podium in the final of the men's 400 meters at the upcoming world athletics championships in budapest 2023 a year's gonna do that people many years Sheen McDonald achieved this time of 44.03 his new season's best at the Hungary Athletics Grand Prix, which happened a few days ago in the men's 400 meters. It was Stephen Gardner in his first race for the 2023 season. Wow. And uh, a setting a new world leading time of 43.74, who won ahead of Jamaica's Rasheed McDonald, who came 44.03. Uh, who was ahead of the United States Vernon Norwood, who ran an 44.63 so you know that this was a no joke run a world leading time and we in at number two away Vernon Northern Gardner he does this very often a very aggressive first 200 meters he hold on he's gone past the final athlete outside of him Rasheed McDonald as the stagger is done can Stephen Gardner hold on to this lead? This could be his best performance of the season so far at just the right time. McDonald trying to finish fast in lane eight, but it is a... Just days before at Lingano um, trap meet, he came second to Leslie Tiboga running 44.83, his first sub 45 in some Time, meaning Rasheen McDonald. Let's see, Tibogo ran 44.75 to take the first position with Rasheen McDonald winning 44.83 to take that second spot. Quattro e cinque le corsie dei giovani, entrambi anno di nascita 2003 e poi l'esperto McDonald in sesta decisamente sostenuta per Tebogo che fa gara su Rashin McDonald che di anni ormai ne ha 31 Pile controlla da esperto quattrocentista qual è? 
che poco passa McDonald Pilai non sembra averne Te Bogo stringe i denti, ci prova a rientrare McDonald, gioca di esperienza, ma non basta, la gioventù di Te Bogo. Now this of course is my two cents, it is really evident that this young man is rounding back into his best form ever and may even exceed that best form ever. If you run 44.83 to come second and about two days later you run 44.03, that is a almost almost what uh, two-thirds of a second increase that's a massive jump and uh, i think he has much more left in the tank you have to take into consideration the fact that those two races were very 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 close behind each other so it must have taken out a lot out of him and out of his legs plus the traveling etc so we're talking about the fact that had he been re really rested, he would have ran a sub 44 and I see him running a sub 44. In other words, people, what I'm saying is Jamaica's Rasheed McDonald is now a very, 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 I said very three times, so you know it's really important, serious threat to, to hitting that podium this year at World Championships. And this is the closest we've been in a while. Now, Sean Bailey is also a factor most pundits believe that but even more so than even sean bailey who i'm a huge fan of at this point running that 44.03 days after running his first sub 45 for the year i think i'm correct if i'm not you correct me on you know much more about track and field than i do generally but running 44.83 and two days later running 44.03 behind the gentleman who opens his season stephen gardner who is one of the clear favorites to win um, with a world leading time this young man is rounding into form at just the right time in three to four weeks i am convinced he'll be running way he'll be running somewhere around a 43 70 75 somewhere around there and he might even be running faster he's definitely getting back into form so he's just just definitely changed the entire landscape of the men's 400 meter um season so far for 2023 he just changed it of course all the other people i'm talking about uh vernon norwood cannot count him out amazing talent stephen gardner holy percoli batman <laughs> amazing uh wade van nikot of, of of south africa also remarkable but i'm telling you this young man with that 44.03 two days two days after running 48 hours after running 44.83 he must have been tired it takes a while to recover this tells me that he has really really serious sub 44 numbers in his legs now some of you had complained when i celebrated and said jamaica's finally has several young men running on a sub 45 and you're all talking about oh big deal i think you know sometimes i think you're not mad <laughs> What, what are you talking about? We're a country with 2.9 million people. And all of a sudden, remember for a long time, it was just Christ Christopher Covey Taylor that was running sub-45. We have like five people now and we have a gentleman who I'm sure, if he remains healthy, is going to hit a sub-43 again. He's in the shape of his life. This is a big deal. Rasheed McDonald just changed the face of the men's 400 meters for the entire 2023 season. And we have a huge opportunity to hit that podium. But this, of course, is my two cents. I'd absolutely love to hear your thoughts. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, your royals, kings and queens, bless up.